Hi, this is part two of the alphabet, and uh, so we'll get right to it. Again, E and F are beside each other, and B and C are beside each other. And remember, the alphabet goes from A to G, and when you hit G, you go back to A again. E, F, G, A, B, C, B and C are together. C, D, E. And remember, 12 frets up from where you start is an octave, okay? We've been talking a little bit about power chords, okay? And what power chords are, a uh, full power chord is three notes, okay? Let's do the E, and I want to show you something here. There's your E. And there's your two frets higher on the next string to make your power chord. And we've talked about a full power chord adding this note here. What note is that? Look familiar? That is an E. So in essence, I'm playing an E note, a second note here, which is two frets higher, and the octave. Same thing applies as you move it up. These type of chords that do not have any open strings involved in them are called movable. Right? You can get away with having to... You never change the form. Okay, we've been talking a little bit about forms and chord forms and stuff. You never change what it looks like. It always looks like this, right? And there's lots of songs that you can employ that with. Um, uh, 25 or 64 is one that comes to mind uh, right off the bat um, by Chicago. Uh, and here it is in the vein of 25 or 64. What I find interesting about those notes is that you can use those notes on a slower um, a pace, slower tempo, and you come up with a completely different song, and that is While My Guitar Gently Weeps. Now, if you want to know what these notes are that I'm playing with these power chords, again, we can employ our musical alphabet that we've already learned. Remember, the B and the C are together, and the E and the F are together. So if this is E, we know that, and that's F, that's G, and that's A, right, because you're repeating the alphabet. So if we go back to 25 or 64, we're playing an A. We're moving down two. So remember, G and A have a hole between them, so that's a G. F and G have a hole between them. So that hole we're actually playing this time is known as an F sharp. And if you ever take a look at music and you see um, the pound sign, the little number sign, that's exactly what that means. It means you're raising up a particular note one fret. So if it's an F sharp, you start with the F and you go up one and you get an F sharp. So again, 25 or 64 would be A, G, F sharp, F, E. One more time, A, 
G, F sharp, F, E.